So Allie, you and I both knew this day would come when, when you would start a new chapter with a wonderful guy. And Brandon, you are truly a wonderful guy. Uh, I, I cannot be more proud of two people, two young people, and how you've conducted your life and who you've become. I am so proud of you. Um, and Allie, I hope that I provided for you a foundation for this next chapter. Uh, I did my best to teach you about God and teach you about life. And honey, we had a lot of, uh, a lot of good memories along the way. Hello, everyone. Hi, my name is Sarah Boucher. Um, I'm Allison's maid of honor. Um, I'm also her best friend since we were seven years old. So, hi. Um, so, uh, when I sat down to write this speech with a little help from Megan over there, um, we really didn't know where to start because um, there's, to be honest, there's just too much to say. There really wasn't a time before Allie. Brandon and I, we used to work together. He was my roommate for a bit. Uh, not sure about the old friend thing, but he's grown on me a little bit. Uh, it's safe to say I'm not big on public speaking, but for friends like Allie and Brandon, I'd sit up here all night and tell you how much they mean to me. Um, met Brandon when we were RAs five years ago, and uh, much to the dismay of our coworkers, Brandon, Justin, and I instantly fell in love and became friends. Uh, we refer to ourselves as the Wolf Pack. Um, for this table there, you guys know, uh, it's probably more obnoxious than it was fun, but we definitely got up to some shenanigans and some sticky situations, but there's no other guy I'd rather have by my side when things go sideways in that instance. Man. I'm not allowed to turn around. <laughs> you. I got some for you. Good idea, you get this one straight up, but I didn't. You look amazing. You look amazing. Let me go first then. Okay. Becoming your husband is an event I've been waiting for since I first said I love you. You're the person that God so graciously put on this earth for me. And my first promise is to you is that I'll never take that for granted. I stand here prepared to offer you everything I have as we enter into this marriage. I vow to you to be by your side and stand up for you through all the challenges we face. I vow to love you as much as I do today as the day we leave this earth. I love you, and I can't wait for this chapter of our life. At the end of the day, I'm honored that you let me be part of you guys' special day. And I want to share a quote with the both of you going forward in marriage. It says, the best preparation for the future is to live like there isn't one. I'd like to propose a toast to Brandon and Allie. To lots of laughter and lots of love. I love you both. So um, I'd like to toast Allie and Brandon to their love and to their joy and to their new beginning. Brandon, I'm lucky to share my best friend with you. And Allie, I love you to the moon and to Saturn. Cheers. It's upon those things I therefore pronounce that you are husband and wife. And what God has joined, may man never separate. And may the Lord bless you and keep you, make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you and lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Brandon, you may now finally kiss your beautiful bride. Dear family and friends, for the very first time, may I formally present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Stinson.
Dearest Brandon, thank you for choosing me and loving me like no one ever has or ever could. I love you and I vow to choose you each and every morning. You are my best friend and I cannot imagine doing life without you. Thank you for setting out on this adventure of life with me. I know that God brought us together to fulfill a divine purpose and I vow to bring God into everything we do. We have been through so much together and I want to do the rest of it all with you. I vow to never forget your dad and I promise to try to bring memories of him into our life. I love you and I'm so happy to become your wife today.